everyone, welcome back to another video here on Mini Mystery Man. Today I'm going to be um, showing off a deck that I built, and this is a Raichu Zoroark deck. It works pretty well, I think. Um, the main attackers are obviously Raichu and Zoroark. So, um, Raichu, Circle Circuit, 20 damage times the number of your bench Pokemon, um, Zoroark. 30 damage more for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, plus, or 10 damage plus 30 more for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. You can also stand in. If this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch it with your active Pokemon. Um, so you can always stand in and just retreat if you get out a float stone. And yeah. Um, now, the reason why I'm pairing these two together is because of their attack cost. Both um, need a DCE. And both do more damage to the amount of bench Pokemon, and that can work well with Skyfield. Each player can have up to eight Pokemon on his or her bench. So that's pretty much the basics of the deck. Now I'll sh go through every card individually. So I've got two of Alto, um, Oblivion Wing, attach a um, Darkness Energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon plus 30 damage. Um, it can help Energy Accelerate if you're stuck. Plus, it also adds extra damage for Raichu's attack. Playing a 3-2 line of Zoroa, Zoroark, um, 4, um, Pikachu, so 1 of this one, um, 2 of this one, and 1 of this one. I played different ones, mainly because some, they have different attacks, heal through damage from each Pokemon. Um, flip a coin, defending Pokemon card attack during your attack next turn. Your opponent's next turn. If you're stuck, that can help out. Um, so it's a 4 4 line of Pikachu Raichu. I do have lots of the different um, Raichus. They're all the same Pokemon, though. It's just because I think they're different prints. Um, next up, one of each Remoraid and two Octillery for the draw support and for extra damage. One Escape Rope if you're stuck. Two Evo Soda. I find it works well with decks that do need a lot of evolutions, and this deck certainly has a lot. Four level balls, because pretty much everything in this deck is under 90 HP, except for the Zoroark and the Eveltal. Um, playing four puzzle times helps out in lots of situations. Put cards from your discard pile into your hand. Look at the top three cards of your deck. One super odd, shuffle Pokemon back in. If your a lot of your Pokemon have been knocked out. If Skyfield's being discarded and you've had to discard Pokemon, can help get back your main Pokemon. One Town Map to look at the prizes. One Trainer's Mail um, for acceleration. Two Ultra Ball to get the Pokemon that can't be gotten with the level ball. Four Versus Seeker, get the um, supporter cards back. Um, one Judge. One Lysander. Two N. Two Sycamore. Probably could play a few more of each. One Skylar. Four Skyfield to um, again get lots of bench Pokemon to do maximum damage. Two Floatstone mainly for the Zoroark, but also if you don't get him out, maybe for the Octillery to get him out of the active position. Four Double Colorless Energies and four Darkness Energies. So that is pretty much the deck. And yeah, now let's get into our first match. See you then. Okay, so we're into our first match. Um, our opponent is playing water. Could mean Greninja break. Not really sure what else it could be. Maybe just one of those sort of water um, EX lock decks or something. But I guess we'll find out in a sec. Starting off with a Velto level ball in Transmill. Not a bad hand. I wouldn't say the greatest hand to start off with, but it's alright. Um, yep, no basic Pokemon just on the bench. And what is our opponent playing yep our opponent is playing the Greninja so I play I find I top deck a Zoroa can play that down um getting a fair few Pokemon out this turn get myself a Pikachu there off the level wall um maybe trainers mail now see what I can get ultra wall maybe to get the um uh, blank in the name Octillery's previous evolution um, I guess I'll have to get rid of the Octillery here. Remoraid, that's it. I can't believe I just blanked to there. Anyway, I'll grab a Remoraid, I think. Just start deciding which one I want to get. So, I've gotten the Remoraid. 
Um, play that down. Getting all of the basic Pokemon I need for the next turn out, which is always a good thing. Um, got another Zoroa that I can play down. Play down the Darkness Energy and the Act um, to the Evolto. And I think I'll play the Puzzle of Time, see what's on the top of my deck. And, uh, Skyfield, and then maybe Ultra Ball. Uh, yeah. Maybe Puzzle of Time next. Anyway, that's pretty much turn one for me. I think that's all I can do. Next turn, I can evolve, I can evolve all three of my Pokemon. Octillery, um, get five new cards. Hopefully get a supporter card that I can play. Now, my opponent is getting a Frogadier out, meaning he'll be able to play Water Duplicates. Search your deck for up to three Frogadier and put them on their bench. Quite a good attack for, uh, um, stage one before he evolves. So my opponent's just going to get two, obviously saving one for the Froki. Now I'll evolve all three of these Pokemon. Get the Zoroark out, get the Raichu out, Octillery out. Now I can draw five cards off this Abyssal Hand. Generally what you want. It's pretty nice having that ability, because otherwise I'd be stuck. Oops, sorry about that there. Um, okay, I think I'll attach that to the Raichu. Maybe Ultra Ball. I sort of want to save it, but again, I kind of want to. I do want the Float Stone for next turn so I can get back down to the right shoe and attack. I think I'll Ultra Ball. Mm, not sh I, I, might, I think I'll just get an old Pikachu out, maybe. I think that would be the best play because I've only got one down at the moment and it's probably better to have a couple of attackers ready to go and I think I'll just puzzle the time see what I can get for next turn um nothing really great there I think I'll just get the Raichu to evolve maybe a Darkness Energy and an Evo Soda I will be able to Oblivion Wing and get that Darkness Energy back though the one I just discarded from the Ultra Ball so I guess that was a plus um, of using the Ultra Ball. Now I'm starting to power up Zoroark, getting a second attacker ready. And my opponent, um, if they have a Greninja and a Wally, could get Greninja Breakout. Unlikely, I think, but still a possibility. Um, my opponent taking a minute to decide. Oh, my opponent plays an N, so I guess it helps me out. Don't have to play Octillery, can save that. Um,. Two Raichu, and a Velto, Super Rod. Nothing super great here. Guess I can play the Darkness Energy to the Zoroark. I got a level ball. Um, maybe get. I think a level ball. Get another Pokemon out. And I think maybe Pikachu would be the best play. Yep. Um. Yeah, as you can see, it works pretty well. I've already nearly gotten a completely full bench quite early on the game. I think I'll super odd here to get the maximum amount of cards off the Octillery. Get those two back. But yeah, I'm getting lots of Pokemon out, setting up really well. My opponent sort of didn't get anything that last turn. Um, anyway, I'll just Octillery Abyssal Hand. Maybe play down that Remoraid. Get, I can get a second Doctor there. And I think I'll stand in, and that should be the knockout. I think 30, 60, 90, 100 damage. Yep, definitely a knockout there. I think I'll get the Float Zone, so now I can retreat next turn into the Raichu if my opponent gets something bigger out. And this is looking pretty good. Um, So, knockout there. Take my first prize card be a Pikachu. Not really going to help out at the moment since my bench is already full. Um, my opponent just um, puts up this Froki. I guess there's a bit of sacrifice. Because I don't think my opponent has anything in hand at the moment. Sorry about that. Headphones falling off. Anyway, my opponent's going to end. Okay. Not really going to hurt me at all. Should still be fine. Get a second DCE for another Raichu. Evolve Raichu, get Playtown Map. 
play the right of old town map, I think. I'm not sure if I want to end, because I think my opponent's stuck, so... Maybe not ending would be the best option for me. Um, I guess I can get a second artillery now with the level ball. Can't really get anything else. Draw one off the artillery, I guess. Not the greatest play, but always nice to get an extra card. And I'll just mind jack for the knockout. I think here, I want to get the float stone again, so I have guaranteed retreat out of this active position. I mean, I can retreat anyway, but I don't really want to be discarding two darkness energy. My opponent gets a versus seeker, so my opponent will be getting um the Greninja out right now. Not sure what they'll play. Could play the shadow stitching, but it wouldn't really work, because I'll just be able to retreat anyway. But no, my opponent just does 80 damage with their Moonlight Slash. So here, I guess I can attach a sec another. Oops. I guess I can attach another DCE to the Raichu. Play the Float Stone. Get retreat there. And I think that should easily be a knockout. Maxing out at 160 damage. Yep. And knocking out this Greninja. So now my opponent's down to one Frogadier. They've used up most of their um, resources. Running out of cards, I mean, they're stuck, but it doesn't seem like they're drawing very well. They just play an N, put me down to three cards. But if they can't get anything, then I've won. And... Yep, there they, we go. They just concede the match, knowing that as soon as they pass the turn, I will knock them out. So let's have a quick look at the statistics here. Um, quite a good match for me. MVP was Zoroark getting lots of damage dealt um, with uh, his Mind Jack, I believe it's called. So I did 160, my opponent only did 80 damage, but because my opponent couldn't evolve quick enough, couldn't get everything out, yep, they lost. So that is the first match. Let's get into the next one, guys. Okay, so I'm into the next match. My opponent is playing Fire or Water. Either could be a Volcanion EX deck, um, or Delphox Break. One of two. They're really the most popular Fire Water decks. You can't really do anything else. With Delphox Break would be with the Octillery. Um, obviously, Vulcanian is water and fire, so that counts as both, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, opening hand. Ugh. Don't really want to Sycamore. Getting, getting rid of those two Octillery would be annoying. So my opponent... Not, still not sure, 100% sure which one he's playing. Okay, he's playing the Delphox Break deck. I, yeah, I really don't want to be discarding these two Octillery. Um, I guess I'll just see what else I get off these three extra cards, or two extra in drawing a card. Um, okay, so I get a Pikachu. Definitely nice. Town map. Um, why send it two versus Seeker surprised? And I guess I'll just have to end here. Not the greatest thing to do, but yeah, just taking them into load there. Um, okay, two level balls and ultra balls. I think I'll play the two level balls. I get another Pikachu. Um, a Zoro and a Pikachu. I think I will get. Or maybe another Remoraid. Not sure. Um. I think we'll get the Pikachu. Just get that one. Okay. So we've got two um Pikachu's, two Zora. I need that I think I need the um second Zora is nice because if my opponent gets the knockout on my active, still I'll still have one. I think I'll grab the artillery here for the draw support and then um 
I think I can play down my hand, play the Octillery, get the Versus he could be able to play N, and I guess I'll just play Skyfield. Maybe should have waited then for to see if my opponent was going to play a Stadium, but I think that's fine. Okay, so my opponent is going to play a Professor Birch's Observation, and he gets Tails. Whew. Um, playing the Remoraid, yep, so playing with Octillery, and just a Fire Energy. If I get the right cards here, I think I can win. If I get a Raichu, a DC, and a Float Stone, I'll be able to get the Knockout, and my opponent down to, yeah. I really need to play those, I need to get those four, no, three cards, and then I think my opponent won't have much to do. Um... DCE, I can play that. I can get the Raichu, but I guess I'll just have to Versus Seeker for the N, which could be annoying because um, that gives my opponent extra cards. And if I don't get the Float Stone, then that would be very annoying. Anyway, I'll play the Raichu down here, and Versus Seeker. Hope I can get the float stone off the end. If I don't, it's not the end of the world, but it will be annoying. And I whiff. No! Do not get anything. Two DCEs in my hand. <sighs> I guess I can stand in. Maybe I should have waited and played the DCE on the Zoroark so I could have done damage. But then I wouldn't have been able to knock him out anyway. I would have only been able to do 40 damage, need 50 to get the knockout. My opponent benches another Fennekin, um, plays a Trainer's Mail, Ultra Ball. If my opponent has a rare candy, they'll be able to get a Delphox out already. My opponent's setting up another Delphox on the bench, and... Oh, he gets rid of a Versus Seeker, that makes me think they have the, um, rare candy. Oh no, okay, they're just going to get the breaks in. And Abyssal Hat, why didn't they evolve then? They could have gotten four cards, but, hmm, I don't know. Um, oh, my opponent gets a Wally, and I think that means, yes, my opponent gets a Delphox out already. No, my opponent getting out all these cards and putting me to sleep. Do not wake up. If I get a Zorak, I guess I can force myself to wake up, but I still need... A way to retreat. I guess I will attach the DC to the Raichu. Maybe should attach the act to um Zora or to my bench Zoroark so I can do some damage. Um I think I'll risk it though. And again hope for the float stone. What will I get? And no I whiff on um, the float stone. Um, I think I, there I should have probably not risked it and just gone save, played the DC on the Zoroark, done 70 damage, getting a two hit knockout. I think that would be better than what I did, but what can you do? Um, evolve Zoroark there. My opponent won't be able to knock me out. I guess I can play Octillery, Abyssal Hand, draw some more cards. A Velto, play that down, I guess level ball. Um maybe a Zora or Remoraid. I think Remoraid will be best to try and get out the second artillery. And that's pretty much all I can do this turn, I think. I guess I could stand in and make it so my opponent can't do anything tricky and get a knockout or anything. But um I'll just wait. Oh my opponent break of alls. With the ability Flare, which are able to search their deck dr once during the turn for a um, Fire Energy and attach it to one of their Pokemon. Works well with their attack. And I think my opponent's getting a knockout anyway here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Yep. Plenty of damage. My opponent Flare Witching, getting an extra energy onto the benched breaks and I think it is. And my opponent still hasn't played a supporter so plays Professor Birch's Observation. Whew. I don't get why they play Professor Birch. 
and is definitely the better of the two. But I guess my opponent can. Oh, my opponent just decides to put me to sleep. I guess they're afraid that I can get the two hit knockout. But now they're leaving. They're letting me attack if I stand in. And I think here I'll probably Professor Sycamore. Maybe Octillery Abyssal Hand first, because probably won't get another chance to play it during the game. I don't think I want a Super Rod here. I don't really want the Darkness Energy. Don't want any of that, I don't think. Yeah, nothing there really stands out. There's anything I need. Anyway, I guess I'll just Professor Sycamore there. Um, getting a full bench again. Oh, and there is the Flute Stone. I'll still only be able to do 160 damage though, so not getting the one hit knockout. I can Evo Soda get the um Octillery there. Play down the Pikachu. And I could Ultra Ball so that I can maximize the amount of cards I get from the Octillery, but I don't I think I will not do that. Here I think I'll just attack with the Zoroark maybe. If I attack my opponent actually no, my opponent can knock I think I should. I think the best play for me here would be to attack with a Raichu because Zoroark having the um, stand and retreat can help out. I'm not sure if I'll do that though. I think that's my best play, but. Nah. I'll re Probably a misplay from me there. Because my opponent's going to get the knockout. And the Zoroark's probably more important than my Raichu. I can always just attach a DC to another um, Pikachu and search the Raichu. So I think that was a bit of a misplay for me. But, you know, doesn't really matter. My opponent getting a second Delphox out. Um, wasting a lot of my time here. My opponent getting a lot of set up. And my opponent getting a Wally to get a second Delphox break. Man, this is pretty strong. Artillery, DCE. My opponent starting to set up a third Delphox. How am I going to come back here? My opponent attaching the NG to the Fennekins. Yeah. Another attach to the Delphox break. And my opponent does 300 damage. Whoa. That is um, one massive, massive attack. Knocking out every poke in the game. <sighs> How am I going to come back? I can knock out this Delphox break, but my opponent's just going to have the next one ready to attack. I think I'll get another Raichu out and ready... Um, I could escape rope, but I don't really see the reason in that. Probably not worth it. Maybe judge, but my opponent has the octillery, so it won't really matter. Could octillery. I'm down to nine cards as well here, so I better be careful about decking out. I think I can octillery though, because I've got the judge and I've got two versus seekers, so I'll be at I will end up being able to keep my hand pretty And I draw two puzzle times, so I could get something from my discard pile into my hand. I think maybe a float stone and a level ball would be good to get a um, maximum amount of poke on my bench and the float stone to be able to re um, stand in retreat. So I think that's what I'll do. Um, yeah. Float stone and I think the level ball over just grabbing the Pokemon would be best. Um, maybe just grab the Zora, but could get the um Super Rod as well. Help me not deck out. And I think I actually I'll just get a DCE, so I will be able to attack with the Zoroark if necessary. But for now, I'll just circle circuit and get the knockout and think here. Maybe the Lysander is best. So, um, I can use the Lysander to bring in another Pokemon if I need to. 
This is getting pretty scary, guys. Um, my opponent Super Rods, getting three Pokemon from his discard pile back into his deck, will definitely help out my opponent. Um, Trainer's Mail for a rare candy. Oh, and a null Delphox coming out. And this is getting pretty tricky here. My opponent gets a Versus Seeker for another Professor Birch's Observation! Wow! My opponent getting Tails again. Um, yeah. Not really sure. Anyway. Oops, sorry about that. Um, 240 damage my opponent has done. Wow. Now, this is getting really dangerous here. My opponent is down to four prize cards. And they've still got two Pokemon ready to attack. I've only got... Oh, I've got three, but they take... I need. I have two hit KOs, they get one. I could Lysander here, knock out his bench Delphox. On... Yeah. I think that would be pretty good. I don't really want to attach this DC, because then his attack will be doing even more. Maybe I will, though. I mean, I guess my opponent's getting one-hit knockouts anyway. May as well. And I will take the knockout here. I think I'll get a Versus Seeker. Probably the best choice. So I can get something. Actually, maybe a Raichu, because... At the end, I need more Pokemon to attack. I'm getting two-hit knockouts, and my opponent's going to knock me out. So at this rate, I'm going to be down to one one attacker that can really knock my opponent out. And this is, is really getting dangerous. Um, yeah. I think I will attach this Darkness Energy to my benched Pikachu, evolve into a Raichu. So if I get another Darkness Energy, I can do that. But I'm down to one prize card here. I mean, one card in my deck. Which means that if my opponent Team Rocket's Handiworks or something similar, I'm out of the game as well. But I think I will just circle circuit next turn. Um, yeah, I'm, I think I've pretty much lost here. Actually, no, my opponent ends. That means I'll be down to three cards. That helps me out. And I get the second darkness energy, meaning... I will be able to get the knockout on this Delphox break. My opponent... Oops. Sorry about that there. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Anyway. I guess I'll be able to attack here. Getting the knockout on my opponent's Delphox break. And suddenly, things are seeming okay. If my opponent can't get another Delphox set up, I'm going to win because I'll be able to knock out the Octillery. So I'll just circle circuit here. Don't really want to play any other cards, because that might mean that I deck out. So I think I'll grab a Versus Seeker here. Um, maybe getting the Lysander back, if my opponent gets another, any other Pokemon out. My opponent, Super Odds, again, probably getting another line out. Yep, Fennekin, Fennekin, Delphox. Hmm... I wonder what my opponent will be able to do. My opponent Ultra Balls, meaning that um, I will not win this turn. They get another Fennekin out. Preparing to set up for another Delphox, I guess. I don't really see a way my opponent can come back here, though. My opponent Professor Sycamores, though. Um, I think they're down to 12 cards, I'm pretty sure. And my opponent just ends their turn. So here I think I want to Lysander out my opponent's benched. Fennekin with the energy knock it out. So my opponent can't do anything tricky with rare candy or triple DC or something like that. I am down to one card again, and again if my opponent Team Rocket's handy works, I've lost. My opponent delinquents, um, that will put me down and I will probably be close to losing there. I get another Versus Seeker. Um, again, Lysander, Judge, from it, get another in. My opponent gets a DCE down, though, and Professor Sycamore's all that away. 
Now my opponent is down to four cards himself here. This is getting pretty dangerous for both of us. My opponent um, evolves into a Delphox. I don't think I'll be able to get the knockout now, no. So I'll have to get a couple more Pokemon. I don't think I have anything else. I've run out of cards in my deck though, so I will have to play the Judge here. Or I guess an N. But judging, I think, will mean my opponent stays low on cards in his deck as well. Um, because decking out is pretty much both of our main issues at the moment. And, I mean, both of us are down to two prize cards, so we're tying on that. Right? But I think I will just have to judge here. I, I, there's no way I can get um, a one-hit KO. Yeah. If I Lysandered and had an extra card in my deck, may, maybe that would work, but... Judging is really going to have to be the thing I do. It's the only way I can see myself winning. So I judge, um, and I can't really play any of these cards. Circle Circuit. So now, from here on out, I'm just going to hope my opponent plays lots of cards. Um, either that, or they don't get anything else out that can um, d damage me. If they play lots of cards like this, um, and then I, then I've got two ways to win. My opponent also has two ways to win. My opponent super odds though, six cards in his deck, and things aren't looking great. I guess I can get the knockout here. My opponent evolves into Delphox Break. Not really going to help. Oh, my opponent, oh, my opponent Octillery is down to one card, my opponent. Wow, and I put rare candies. Now here, things are pretty dangerous, but also pretty safe. My opponent is going to size down though. My opponent's down to one prize card now. Whoops. Okay. Um. So my opponent's going to be doing 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 damage, knocking out I think everything. Wait, I I draw the versus seeker. If I Lysander out his, or Escape Rope, Escape Rope, he could go into the Delphox, and I think he could still get a knockout. But if I Lysander out his Octillery, I don't think my opponent has any way to retreat. This could be a win, if my opponent doesn't have a way to retreat, they deck out. Because I can't win prize cards now. But my opponent has less cards in his deck. I think that is what I have to do now. Versus Seeker for the Lysander. And yep, that is exactly what I'll do. Lysander out his Octillery. My opponent after this will be at zero cards in his deck. And this could mean a win for me. Whew. This is really close. If my opponent has a Float Stone though, they win. What will happen here? My opponent down to zero cards. My opponent, um, Break of Alls. Yes. Does that mean they don't have it? They play down Remoraid, Fanakin. Well played, sir. Whew, my opponent just playing everything they can. And I think that means my opponent doesn't have a way to put anything back into their deck. Doesn't have a way to retreat. And I'll just pass my turn. And that's it. Victory is mine. Whew, that is one of the longest and most drawn out games I've ever played against a Delphox break deck with my Raichu and, um, Raichu Zoroark deck. 21 minutes, 6 seconds. Let's look at the statistics. 800 damage dealt for me, 1,100 damage dealt for my opponent. Biggest attack for my opponent, 300 damage. That was definitely a long match. I hope you all enjoyed this video, though. If you did, make sure to subscribe and like. And, yeah, I guess that's it. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.